We're still in section 2.2 .2, and now we're going to explain a problem solving application. The height and feet of a football that is kicked can be modeled by this function. f of, f of x is equal to negative 16x squared plus 64x, where x is the time in seconds after it is kicked. Let me write this function. f of x is equal to negative 16x squared plus 64x. And notice that since my variable is squared, I know this is a quadratic function. Also notice that it's a negative a. I also know this opens down. So if I were to draw this function, it would look something like this, opening down on the coordinate plane, okay? So also, they are telling us that x is time in seconds. So my x-axis here is really seconds. And my y-axis here is really the height of the football. So on the x-axis, at a certain amount of seconds, let's say at one second after the ball being kicked, I will have a corresponding y-value that will tell me the height at which that ball was kicked, or the height the ball reached after being kicked one second after being kicked, the height that the, that the ball reached. Okay, so this is the function that models the height of the ball after it got kicked. And it also says, find the football's maximum height. So if the y-axis is the height axis, where is the maximum value of y for this function that opens down? The maximum value of y happens at the vertex. So if I want to find the maximum value or the maximum height of this ball, I need to find the vertex. It also wants you to find the time it takes the football to reach that maximum height. So I have to find the corresponding x value here that will give me that maximum value. So what I'm really trying to find here is the vertex. The coordinate of the vertex will tell me the time at which the ball will reach this height. So let's go ahead and try and find this vertex. To find the vertex, remember the vertex is a location on the coordinate plane. It's an x, y coordinate. And to find the vertex, which is in this case finding the maximum point or the maximum height, if I find this y value, I'll have that maximum height. So, but to find the y value, I first have to find the x value. And remember that formula I gave you in the previous videos, when we have standard form, we use this formula, the opposite of b over 2a. Be careful with this negative. If you prefer, you can write this formula in parentheses and leave the negative out because sometimes b can be negative and then you'll confuse this and not write the negative because the formula already has it and it'll be wrong. So keep that negative outside the parentheses and if b is negative, just plug it in negative as it is originally. Okay, so to find the x coordinate of my vertex, this is the formula and this is equal to negative and then b, remember b is the number in front of your x coordinate. So this is b, 64. And 2 times a. a is negative 16. Remember, a is the number that's in front of the x squared term, negative 16. So when we evaluate this, we get negative 64 over negative 32. And that will give you positive 2. So far, I know that the maximum value or the maximum height this ball will reach happens at two seconds after being kicked because that's what I got for x. Now I want to find what the y value is 
the y value will tell me the maximum height because the y axis represents height. So how do I find the y value? We take the original function, which is f of x equals to negative 16x squared plus 64x, and we evaluate it for that x value that we found, which is 2. So anywhere there's an x, you plug in 2 plus 64 times 2. That equals negative 16 times 4 plus 128, and that will give you 64. So this 64 is the y coordinate of your vertex. So here's your vertex. Vertex is 264. What does this vertex tell me? Well, this is your x value, this is your y value. We said that your x value, and it says it right here, x is the time in seconds after it is kicked. So this two means that two seconds after it was kicked, it reached this height. It reached a height of 64. And we can look at that here. At this value, this value is a 2. I will have a y value of 64. And that is your answer. The first question was, find the football's maximum height. This is the answer. The maximum height is 64. And then it asks, the time it takes the football to reach this height? Well, it took the football two seconds to reach a height of 64. And there is your answer. I'm going to graph this in WZ Grapher and show you the graph so that you can see that it coincides. Here is the graph. Remember our function was negative 16x squared plus 64x and we had found that the vertex was at the point 264. So let's verify that. Let me scroll down a little bit here so that you can see the x-axis values. Here's x equal to 2. Notice that at 2, which is time in seconds, at 2 seconds, look at what happens. At 2 seconds, if I follow this all the way up here, that's where I find the maximum value for my y. And if we trace this over to the side like this, that y value, which is all the way over here, it's about 64. You see that? So at two seconds, that ball, two seconds after it was kicked, reached a maximum height of 64. I also want you to see that uh, why did we find the vertex to find the maximum value? Because that's where the maximum value happens at the vertex. When a parabola opens down, the biggest value for this function happens right at the vertex. So whenever they ask you, what is the maximum value? You know you have to look for the vertex. I also want to show you, this function here doesn't have a constant value. The c value here plus c is not there. So what that tells me is that c is equal to 0. This would be a plus 0, where c is equal to 0. And then your y-intercept would be at 0, 0. And we can verify this. I'm going to scroll this down. And notice that this function does crash the y-axis at the value for 0. So that's why you don't see a number here. And there you have it. I hope you understood this application. If you didn't, go back. Try and do this on your own and then come back and check your value. I'll see you in the next video where we will be factoring.